Hello, welcome to my poster presentation. My name is Yongun Lee, and today I'm going to talk about my recently published work, Integrative Reconstruction of Cancer Genome Care Types Using Input Genome. Here, our interest is structural variations. There are, there are variety kinds of structural variations, including simple types such as tandem duplication and deletion. Further, complex types of SVs have been found in cancer genome, such as double minus DMs, homogeneous resistant regions, and chromotripsis, and the other intra and interchromosomal complex rearrangements. Our goal is to find chromosomal structures, as known as karyotypes, derived from these SVs using whole genome sequencing data. For that, we developed an iterative framework for genome reconstruction called InfoGenomer. The method is composed of three parts, breakpoint graph construction, haplotype graph construction, and allelian path finding with minimum entropy search. Here, I'm going to explain the fourth part, breakpoint graph construction. Figure A shows an example of cancer genomes that we are going to reconstruct. Several kinds of SVs exist in the different haplotype of chromosome A and B. Whole genome sequencing data were generated from this genome, and we start from mapping assembly of WGS leads. From the mapping assembly, we construct a breakpoint graph that is composed of two types of nodes, head and tail nodes, and each node represents each end side of genomic segments, which can be obtained by SV and CNA breakpoints. There are three kinds of edges in the breakpoint graph. First, SV edges then represents a novel linkage between genomic segments that we can discover from this coordinates or spin it. And second, Segment edges then represent genomic segment itself, and multiplicity of segment edges are determined by lead depth information. Third type is a reference edge that represents a linkage between genomic segments that already exists in reference genome. To determine multiplicities of these edges, we perform iterative steps which find a breakpoint graph satisfying a copy number balanced condition for the Eulerian path existence. The Eulerian condition for breakpoint graph is that segment edge multiplicities are equal to the sum of SV and reference edge multiplicities. These steps are iterated until the breakpoint graph converges and zero multiplicity edges do not remain. Next, we change breakpoint graph into haplotype graph using SNP information. First, we determine allelic division of integer CNs using negative binomial mixture models using SNP depth information. In this toy example, the figure C shows SNP depth distribution of each genomic segment. And based on SNP depth distribution, we expand previous free breakpoint graph nodes into two alleling nodes. Note that here these nodes are not the ordered state, and the order of the alleling nodes will be determined using the next haplotype paging steps. Based on population haplotype frequency, we obtain the most possible haplotype using the Hirumark group model. And we used the beta B algorithm that was constrained to the previous LA specific graph and the genomic nodes are fully ordered end to end by the beta repass. Finally, from the haplotype graph, we find Eulerian paths by enumerating edge pairing possibilities for each genomic node and selecting the edge pairing state with a minimum entropy to prioritize biological relevant scenario. To validate our framework, we generated simulated cancer data sets under various conditions such as different cancer purity and haplotype coverage. And we show that here our framework has a better performance than other individual, some independent variant calling tools. In addition, we applied our framework to actual cancer cell line data and validated our reconstructed karyotype with matched multicolor fish data. We could find derivative chromosomes relevant with complex events, 
such as chromothresis and chromoplexy in the A549 cell line and H292 cell line. And these chromosomes could be validated by MFISH data. So next, we applied our framework into patients with a BRCA and GBM in the TCA database. We could find uh, recurrent, recurrent derivative chromosomes between chromosome 11 and chromosome 17 in breast cancer patients, which have focal amplification structures of oncogenes, uh, ERBB2 and CCND1. And chromosome 17 is recurrently translocated not only with chromosome 11, but also with other chromosomes such as chromosome 3 or chromosome 8, and oncogenes are co-amplified in these derivative chromosomes. GBMs have recurrent double mind structure in chromosomes 4, 7, and 12, and more than 75% of these patients have double mind structures, which included, included GBM oncogenes such as or EGFR and CDK4. In summary, we developed InfoGenomer, a method for reconstruction of cancer genome keratotypes, and found directive chromosomes and HSR and DM topologies associated with oncogene amplification. In future work, we are developing a 3D genome analysis tool based on InfoGenomer to find a non-coding driver SVs named IMPI-C, which can predict some neotopologically associating domains and inside ranking events from complex SVs in the, in the 3D genome uh, context. This work uh, was supported by the following fundings, and thank you for listening to my presentation.